What's up guys, welcome back to channel. Today we have an exciting video for you. We have the Roar Mantis and we're gonna do a range test. We're back out at our undisclosed testing location. We're gonna do the range test in sport mode and eco mode, see how it compares to the Talaria Sting models. Let's get into it. All right, here goes Lance doing the eco mode. All right. Ready? Ready. Oh, that's slow. It's very slow off the line. All right, we're following him in the truck. All right, guys, we are going pretty slow in this eco mode too. There's three eco modes, if you didn't know, on this bike. There's eco mode one, two, and three. Three is actually pretty close to sport mode. So eco mode two, we thought would be best to compare to the Talaria models. We're doing 20 miles an hour GPS. And we're going into a little bit of a headwind, but that will get compensated for when we turn around and come back. So we'll have a tailwind coming back. So don't worry, it's gonna still be an even test. The, this display is way off. It's about five miles an hour off, even at this speed. All right, here's Alex in sport mode. Switched it to sport mode, 100%. 100%, let's see how far it'll go. All right, start the GPS. I don't think he'll get very far. Maybe 17, 18 miles. Starting out in sport mode. I'm already way more comfortable than on the Talaria. This seat is actually pretty nice. So far we're getting 39 miles per hour on our GPS and just cruising. All right guys, 95%. Make sure to like and subscribe. We really appreciate it and comment down below how far you guys think it's gonna make it. We've got 60% left and still going about 39 miles per hour on GPS. Um, on the screen, on the Mantis, it reads 48 miles an hour. So that's nearly 10 miles an hour off of what our GPS is saying. All right guys, we are cruising in eco mode two. We are making good way, we're at 75%. If you guys are new to these type of range test videos that we do, we come out on this eight mile stretch of road and we go back and forth just holding full throttle in the mode we choose until the bike dies. We do a quick stop at 50% just to let the motor and battery rest a little bit and to just update you guys on how far we've gone and so we can see the difference between the first half of the battery and the second half of the battery. So we're halfway to halfway and we'll do another update then and see what we're at. All right guys, looks like Alex is at 50%. He only did about eight and a half miles. So that's really, really bad. Let's go see how he's doing. All right, we just caught up with Alex in sport mode. He's at 50%. That went quick. So we've only been riding for 15 minutes. Oh my. And gone 8.8 .8 miles. 8.8 .8 miles, so that's crazy. I don't even think it's gonna get 16 miles. That's crazy. The Talaria MX-3 uh -huh. in sport mode only made it 11 miles at 50%, and we're only at nine, so. And it was going, what, seven mile an hour faster? Right. So yeah, this bike only goes 39. It says it goes 49 on the screen, but GPS is only 39, as you know. We've been talking about that a lot. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> RAR is advertising, but. All right, we let the bike cool. Alex is gonna take off again, see if he can even get to 16 miles. Right. See you guys. See ya. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but the whole truck is covered in bugs. We definitely need a new spot to do this wrench test. All right, guys, that's 50%. We are pulling off the side of the road. Let's see how we did, and then we'll keep going. All right, how was that? It was pretty good. Um, wasn't as far as I was expected to go. Um, so guys, we're on this seven to eight mile stretch of road and we're running it back and forth, just full throttle in this eco mode too. And we've got a crazy headwind going this way, so we're only getting between 20 and 22 miles an hour. But when I came back this way, I was doing 28 to 29. So our average speed is gonna average out to around 25, maybe 26 miles an hour. So that's gonna be really similar to both the, the Talaria Sting models that we tested. So this mileage that we got should be pretty similar at 50%. We're at 14.8 miles, 38 minutes of ride time, and yeah. Lance is taking a pee before he does his second half of eco mode. All right, we're at 50%. We're gonna start and we're gonna see how far we get. 
See ya. See ya. All right, guys, we're now at 24%. Uh, GPS says we're going 31 miles an hour, so it's slowed down quite a bit. Um, yeah, we've gone 13 miles. So far, not super impressed. This is, it's, it's not as good as we were expecting, but we'll see what Lance gets and see if the eco mode can do any better. All right, guys, we're at 19%. We're slowing way down. We're only going 26 miles per hour. We've gone 14.4 miles. Um, it kind of just feels like I'm in eco mode now. I'm not feeling the slaps of the bugs all the time because I'm going a little slower, but next time I'm making Reed or Lance do this sport mode test because I've done it every time and get, I get pelted by these bugs. Holy cow. I don't know if Reed showed you, but the whole bed of his truck was completely full. Only getting 22 now. Just in that, the time it took to make that clip, it's just dropping like crazy. We just hit the 16 miles mark and still going strong at 19 miles an hour. Down to 10%, but these percentages are going way slower now that we're only going 18 miles an hour. Um, it kind of feels like cheating. It should just run out when and keep going that fast, but it's not how it's working out. We've been going for like 32 minutes. So since it's going this speed, we're getting way further than we were estimating at halfway. All right, guys, we're at 41% battery. I'm curious to see what happens below 40. I've heard the power level drops a little bit, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we are slowing down quite a bit. We're doing about five miles an hour slower than when we started, and we're at 31%. So I'm curious what happens next if we have a couple more big drop-offs in power. Right now we're going significantly slower than when we were at full battery. We're at 25% battery. We've done 21 miles and we're doing about six to seven miles an hour slower than we were when we started. There's a pretty big difference. We've been going for about almost an hour, just under an hour. So we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, I've been holding full throttle and it's cutting in and out every like five seconds. So I'm going to cut it off of there. So we're stopping at 5%. The motor's really just working in a weird way. Um, so we're going to call it. That's the end of the sport one. All right, guys, Alex on the sport mode bike is dead. He got to 5% and the motor just kept cutting out. Yeah, so we just had to call it. Every five seconds, it would just pause. And the screen was saying error. So that's it down to five percent we've gone 19 miles 19 miles that's a little better than we were thinking a little better um mostly, mostly because, because it was going so slow it just so goes slow. it jumped down from 39 down to 20 for about five percent and then down to like 15. that's so, that's crazy so yeah. this bike after you get to about 25 percent is basically unusable it might still get you home, but really slowly. Really slow. On our Talarias, they go all the way to 5% without losing too much, but then at 5%, they drop fast. So that's a whole extra 20% that you're losing having this bike. Plus, the battery's already smaller. Right. So that's a huge downside for this bike. All right, we'll check in with Lance. There's Lance in eco mode. We're doing good. We're at 15% battery. We're doing pretty good still. We haven't dropped any more miles per hour than we did previously. <laughs> Hasn't been a huge change. We've been pretty consistent throughout the battery. It's kind of hard to tell because I've been like going into the wind half the time and I've been going with the wind half the time. So I have to kind of remember based on where I was, how the miles, the miles per hour was. Um, but just, just a reminder, we are not using this display to record the mileage or the mile per hour because it is way off. So this speed you see is totally wrong. We're going off this GPS cycling computer that we do for all of our testing. We'll see what happens when we get to 10%. We got to 12% and we just dropped two more miles per hour. All right, guys, quick update. I am at 9%. The last time we checked in, I was at 14%. Every percentage we've dropped, we've dropped several miles an hour. I'm only doing 13 miles per hour, which is pretty dang slow. 
So on the Talaria range test, we got it all the way down to 2% because it doesn't really start cutting power until 5%, so it's easy to get there. We might end this range test a little early because I don't know how usable is only going 10 miles an hour and you probably won't even be able to climb any hills. We've done 27 miles and have been riding for about an hour and 15 minutes. All right guys, Lance is at 9% and he's going very slow. Very slow, I'm doing 12. 12 miles an hour at 9%. I could run this fast if I wanted to, but I don't really like running. I like e-biking. Yeah, well that's unfortunate that the Rar Mantis gets so slow even at 9% still. The Talaria until 5% and then it starts dropping fast. Basically doesn't lose very much speed even in sport mode. At 3% it keeps cutting out and then starting again. Can you guys see that? I'm staying on the throttle. So we're just gonna call it quits here cause that's not usable. We'll just pull over here, go over what we did. All right guys, Lance is dead in eco mode. How yeah, did it go? It was pretty slow and painful there at the end. We ended at 3% because the bike kept cutting out. Um, we did 28 and a half miles. We were riding for about an hour and 20 minutes and our average speed was somewhere between 23 and 24 miles an hour after we kind of averaged it with the headwind and then the tailwind speeding us up. That is pretty bad, you guys. Like for compared to the regular Sting and the Sting R, that's a huge difference. The Sting R in eco mode was going a little bit faster and it did 45 miles. That's 16 miles different. And the regular Sting, which only has a slightly bigger battery than this, did 37 miles. So that's eight more miles. So that's a pretty big difference. And just to be clear, guys, we were not going off the roar display because it is totally off. We find it's between five and 10 miles an hour off, depending on what speed you're actually going. And this trip recorded 39.7 miles when we only did 28. So that's not great when you're trying to not rack up tons of extra miles on your bike. Like it's just reading high the whole time. That's kind of annoying. All right guys, so this bike was not, we weren't too impressed with it. The Talaria R in sport mode went one mile an hour further than this bike, but it was also going 12 mile an hour faster. So that's a huge power difference. And the eco mode went 45 miles versus the 28, and it was also going a couple mile an hour faster. So this bike, the range is not great, and you just lose that extra 20 miles at the bottom. So we'll have a graph here to show all those numbers so you can see them better. That's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Catch you next time.